So, uh, good evening, everyone. Today we have with us Dr. Dharma from ESI Medical College, who secured All India Rank 839 in the recently conducted NEET PG 2024. First of all, hearty congratulations, Dr. Dharma. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, um, congratulations to your parents and family members. And when you saw the result last night, what is your first reaction? Sir, uh, actually, I got uh, 284 in INSF. So, okay. so I was, I don't know, I don't think I was very happy, but then my parents are very, very happy. And now that uh, it's finally over and I'm relieved of it, I'm actually happy. I'm happy with this result. Fantastic. So, like it is. Your batch attempting the examination had gone through a lot, like the repeated prepondment, postponement, cancellations, and all those things. Yes. How did you handle this situation, basically? Sir, I uh, I thought, okay, what is in it is it is not in my hands, so I should not really worry about it. And everything is maybe for a good reason, so I took it on a positive note. So Fish. I was no, I was trying not to be very stressed out for certain things which are not in my control. So. So you just take a positive attitude that you get more time, like uh, try to utilize as much as you can. Yes. That's great. And what is the role of area plexus in your success? Sir, I joined a VSV uh, a course from ADR uh, in December. So I was uh, doing a lot of leaderboard tests. I think leaderboard uh, helps very much in time management, you know, uh, because now we have time bound sections also in me. So 40 questions have to be done in 42 minutes. It's not like we can go back and see. So when we right. practice leaderboard, it's very useful because in those in that particular minute, I know how to solve that particular question and move to next. And also I have attended a lot of uh, subject tests. Most of the subject tests I have attended and I also go back and see the videos, uh, the explanation videos, and it is very helpful to uh, strengthen my concepts. It's fantastic. So when it comes to the little boards, it's like uh, the dual weights, not only about like uh, knowing you where you stand among your piece, but also gives you an idea about uh, what are the keywords in that question, like uh, picking up in that right 40 seconds, like how fast you can pick it up that gives you an edge, like uh, that's what we insist on. Okay. Yeah. And when it comes to subject wise tests and the videos which you watched and the quality of questions, how did you feel about that when you are at a moment compared with the real examination? Sir, it's the same way. Like when I was attending, I could recall some concepts also. I remember. Like it's 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 like interactive. No, after doing the test, when I see the videos and when I go back and sit on real exam, when I see those concepts again, I could recall the same thing again easily. So okay. I found it very interactive also in that way. Okay, nice. So on an average, how many? Uh... How will be your usual typical day? How many MCQs you used to attempt? Like how is what is your study schedule? Sir, initially I was uh, attending around 50 to 100 questions. So uh, on a very bad day, if maybe I would do 50 questions or at least I would try to do 50 to 75 questions. But towards the end when I was revising, I was, at, I was doing questions vigorously. Like every day I used to attend at least 200 to 250 questions. So uh, okay. when I uh, since March I started doing questions uh, like around one fifty to two hundred questions per day at least. And after attempting the questions, you um, you need to correct them, like learning from the mistakes and consulting uh, the yes, mistakes that you made from those. Yes, sir. I see what if if it's a concept that I'm not understanding or if it's a fact based question, I just try to correct all of it and most of the time it will be because of the keywords that we miss when we read the question the question is simple but we tend to make silly mistakes not reading those points so with practice i found that that was getting better i will i'll stop so this is one of probably this is one of the most important factors in your success like attempting more and more mcqs and like uh, consolidating the mistakes and learning from those mistakes may play a crucial role Yes. And how about revisions, Dr. Dharma? How many times you have revised and uh, what is the ideal revision schedule? Uh, how we can plan, like according to your view? Sir, uh, my revisions were through questions. I went from questions to my notes. I do questions and I say if it's concept which is which I'm lacking, I go back to my notes and I read the concept again. So I feel in that way, I was able to revise a lot more times and especially on the content which I am not very strong at. I was able to find that out and do it. So I was going through that way, not reading my notes, but through questions to notes. Okay. 
question. So it's all like uh, mostly MCQ based when you attempt a question like uh, you mixed up your revision and learning from mistakes in a single go that gives you an extra advantage. That's what you mean? Yes, sir. So, there might be many factors which might have contributed for your, for your success with this last 15 months of preparation. But if I ask you to pick up three most important factors, which one you pick it up? So, first thing is, I think first is very most important is building concepts and keep revising the concepts again and again. Second is to give a grand test from the very beginning. Not to wait for the end, but to start giving my first day, I gave my grant test. That's how I started my preparation. Fantastic. So, uh, I like think. What made you do that? How much I, score? Do you remember? Like, I got around 50 percentile something. Great. So, but, but again, you get the confidence of like you attempted, like without your preparation, still you got like 50 percent, and that's how you can you know that. Yes, sir. I wanted to know where I stand, where am I starting from, so that I could assess my progress through GPs and make corrections accordingly. Nice one. Mm -hmm. And okay, this is the two things. And what is the third yeah. one? Third one is MCQ. So I think every day, everybody has to solve at least 100 MCQs. And that's like the most basic thing. And learning from those. Learning from those. Okay, uh, so Dr. Dharma, if I ask you to uh, do a piece of advice to your juniors, like who are going to watch this uh, interview, so what are the things which you suggest them? Okay, sir, I think most important thing is to have a fixed mindset that this is not a sprint, it's going to be a marathon. So they should have a mindset for it to be preparing for that such a long time. They should not think that final one month or two months, they're going to do some crash course and finish it. They should have that mindset. And the most important thing, more than studying, is we get we tend to have mental burnout when we get stressed with things uh, about the future or, or about the mistakes that we've done, the time that we have wasted. So I think it's to focus on the on what we're doing right now, on the path to believe in the path, and just go ahead, and ev everybody will definitely make it success. Fantastic! So that's such a nice piece of advice, Dr. Once again, hearty congratulations to you, your parents, and all the family members and all the support system. Enjoy the Thank moments. You. We'll meet again once again in the success meet along with your parents. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you for your support also, sir. It is, and like we are happy that like uh, as a team, Media Plexus played a uh, key role in your success. Once again, enjoy the moments. And which specialty you want to do, uh, Dr. Dharma? Sir, I have not actually decided. I no, I have ruled out the options that I don't want, but I'm not able to rule in the branches. So I think I should take some time to analyze. Yeah, you have ample time. Like, uh, I'm not right now, enjoy the movements and then, like, you can just act. Right? Yes. Once again, hearty congratulations, Dr. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Sir.